How can people worry like that when you have government? It's just not possible. This, the revenue officers must work under you. Anybody who is not working under you, upon your power delegated, start a disciplinary process. It's a fact. Because as, as the CEO has mentioned, they have delegated part of the power to you. So if you are not exercising, you are abusing your office. The power to discipline. Similarly, the fact that you are proud not to have a cautionary letter, I'm wondering whether you have a letter of good work. <laughs> you know, it works, it works the same. Anybody who has performed well should have a letter of commendation in their file. Would like to thank you for making sure that Project X was completed on time, the contractor left site, and people are happy. That should be a commendation in everybody's file, those who have performed. Let's not wait to discipline people. <laughs> The principles and values of public service is also appreciating when people do well. We might not reward you, but that letter in your file can go a long way. This can be a stepping stone to you becoming something bigger. To your, is it your daughter? Did you say your daughter or son? Daughter. Tell them the deputy governor started as a DEO. Oyo. Went to a DC. Complete. Became a county commissioner. Not of one, but three. Now, if you become a county commissioner of Kakamega, lazima uvulio mtukofia. That's the county of Atwoli. Malala. Boni Halwale. And those guys. I mean, if you can become the county commission of such a big place, I thought that person can work very well with you. When, uh, when we, we, they saw her name and picture in the press, a good lady that I was in class with called Beneka, Beneka is married to Governor Anderito, former governor, called me and said, you are lucky, we were looking for her because she worked in Laikipia as, as, a, as a district commissioner. So I'm telling you, Makueni should not be the place you are not consigned or nailed to Makueni. And that's why, that's why I want your files to have good records. You never know where the opportunity will knock. Somebody might look for you. So the purpose of this meeting for us is to go back home and rethink. Rethink your strategy. I, I, none of my officers in the Senate worked in one place or worked at home. They worked in different places. Some ended up getting married and settled and built big homes where I had posted them. You never know. Maybe you might find a wife if you don't have, or a husband if you don't have, or something else in the place where you're going to work. It's your home. So let's think that way. I mean, if you think about it, I've been relocated from Nairobi. Do I look smaller? <laughs> I'm suggesting to all of you, beginning with the sub-county uh, administrators, find a line of communication with your boss and bosses. Myself, DG. Straight. I'm going to bridge this. We are going to work without a bridge to the administration. Need to be a took a series. Need to be a two need or down of Lenny Dilna. Why? Because we want to achieve efficiency. And part of the things that we want I've said in my manifesto is to re just reduce the bureaucracy. Kenyans are complaining we are too bureaucratic that they get their projects after too long a process. Even then, the projects, uh, as you continue uh, checking, and I have this, this 
Nimekuwa nikisoma hii. And I was just looking. And I can point to you the things that I think you need to relook and this is Kilome. If I go to the rest I will flag and tell you. Matiangi used to know what's happening in Makwene faster than lightning. I used to sit with him and he tells me at fingertips. I know about this, I know about this. Why? Because his administrators have made sure that the communication line goes to him very fast. So that if we have a monitoring and evaluation or, or a monitoring and evaluation committee or SDU, it's supposed to speed up some things. But there's a part which all of you must play. And I'm calling upon all of you to put in a little more effort in this. I have asked for a report on even fleet management. There are so many cars on tarmac when the cars should be where you are supposed to be. Zile magari naona kwa barabara ni nyingi sana. If I, I relook like this, we can make sure that all of you have vehicles. Those reports must come. Uh, the motor vehicles uh, and even motorcycles. Your report must say, I don't have a... And in fact, you should do so. Those reports you are reading should come now to the office. Because the county executive committee must action the things that you are stuck on. We start with the small ones, big ones, progressively. We make sure that everybody is, uh, has the facilitation for their service. Sand harvesting is a problem. I have, I have given a directive that we must deal with this sand harvesting and collection of revenue on sand harvesting. Licensing of bars, uh, we want to know what the problem is, why you don't have a committee, send it to us so that we can activate. Uh, conflict of interest, this morning I have authorized through the Department of Finance, <laughs> somebody <laughs> who had a conflict of interest about a road that is just behind the office of the governor. Na alikuwa ndani ya hiyo project. Na ni mfanyikazi wa account. Sasa ameshtaki account. Na alikuwa ndani. So when when a CEO talks about conflict of interest, angalia hiyo as as a part of the people who are helping us uh, i know i don't need to repeat the principles of ethics human resource development i've said that uh, and i agree with dg i spoke to chair uh, professor and professor has a lot of time for makwene and therefore uh, ceo speak to find a method through dg dg has a very good connection bring chair and his team to start doing the training for the VAs and, and refresh a course for the rest and then give them certificates. And, and there's even a good gentleman, a good gentleman uh, and he's a good friend of this guy here, uh, Peter. Peter Kioluku is a very good trainer. He's your friend. I, I know that. And this good, uh, Esami. Esami can offer to even train these people here and give certificates. If they are training senators, why not train our own people here? There's a very good outfit on uh, HR matters uh, and, and uh, all these things, a, a national outfit. It can also come to Makwene and train. Uh, and I'm sure, I'm sure we can find resources for, for all these things. So let's find, let's find a method for all these people to have fuel, have notice boards in your respect sub-county administrators. The best way to share, not to appear as if you are hiding, these good lists that you are sharing with us, put them on your offices so that people can see. For the three offices that we have, we want through Waziri to have meetings there. Tunataka kwanza kuona wanainji at your offices. I want the office of the governor to devolve so that people don't come to water. If it's Kibwezi East, tunayona Kibwezi East. If it's Kibwezi West, we go to Kibwezi West. So that then we incentivize the respective de department to build six offices for the ones that are, 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 are not complete. And we don't have to do it to completion. We can start slowly. Waziri.
And then pole pole. We are five, five financial years. We can, we can do this within. There's no way we are going. And we can have offices for all these administrators. There's no reason for them to uh, sit uncomfortable when they are serving the public. Uh, I have given you my commitment to help you with your personal welfare. I know that bothers you. Here. And use those channels of these six, six, because you are the sixth one. But it occurs to me that uh, if we put in some effort and that we have reshuffled the revenue at re revenue sub county people because not and there's no single person who is paying property tax including me because I have not been judged for the properties I have on Mombasa Road the properties I have in Borne so we must start paying even if it's 10 15000 shillings to Anze Gulipa to Anze Gulipa that's how, out of those revenue streams, we can help the work that you are doing. But the way we are going, we are running into as many, as our deficits are becoming bigger by the day because of our shortfalls in revenue. Uh, a lot of people have come to help us, and we are going to use your offices. FAO is in water. We are going to use the water office, uh, NARIG and others want to help. So I'm, I'm requesting the departments and through you, when we are discussing matters development in these wards and sub-counties, call these bosses so that they share information. We must share information. Let me start giving it a mutu. I hate that idea. Because unlike you, since it's a particular contract here, I'm not Tukifanya kazi, tutaongezo. Tukikata kufanya kazi, P.O. Box, nyumbani. <laughs> but you have committed yourself to work in Makweni. All of you. So put in a little more effort. Lima hii shama kama ni yako. And that verse of Colossians is, is on point on what I think. If we serve these people well, your blessing will come tenfold. I want the department to find 